guys welcome to a monday monday manic monday mad monday happy monday whatever emotion you are feeling today is monday go out there and find one mini miracle and then come back here and post it in the comments so i can see the glorious way that god was working in your life today the girls are grabbing a quick lunch even though it's breakfast time <laughs> so uh, that we can head out because we have plans so today we're headed out as a family uh, to meet up with friends again before COVID shuts us down. We're at that point where I feel like COVID is going to shut us down. So we're trying to do as much as we can before we can't anymore. But we are being safe, you guys. We're being so safe. One, we have a core group that we stick to. We don't really sway outside of our core group. Two, everyone in our core group maintains a level of isolation. We're not obviously isolated, but we all agree that we don't go out and around a lot of people. We're not doing a lot of stuff out there in the world, seeing a lot of people. We just have a small, small, little core group. And we also don't go anywhere if we have symptoms, which we have not had any symptoms at all because we've been following our own little COVID rules. Right, Sam? Yeah. Even Sam has not been to work, so it's just been a really controlled, quiet, amazing group and we are headed out to meet them now, some of our friends now, and we're going to get our ride on and see what happens, but first we need to pick up grain. Alright, so we are finally on our way and I was just reading comments in the car. I wanted to read you something in the comments, it's by Lauren Hall and she says, you both did so great, Penny is a great horse, she's patient and allows you to learn and make mistakes without losing her cool. And and what's so bizarre and weird to me about that is that she's completely right. But I want to tell you guys what happened when I first bought Penny. When I first bought Penny, she was more nervous and afraid. She just moved to a new home and I hadn't figured her out yet and she hadn't figured me out yet. And we didn't have a bond and she was a different horse. But I could see that in her. I could see that she was going to be the horse for me. And a really amazing woman sent me a message one day. I probably still have it. And she said frankly that she didn't think that I should have bought Penny that she thought I was going to get seriously hurt on Penny and that the only way I was going to be able to manage this choice that I had made is to find a really good bit and to keep working with a trainer and I literally was so upset for days over that comment because the lady was not trying to be mean she was not trying to steal my enjoyment she was speaking from her heart and trying to help me the best way that she knew how and I believed the lady and I was scared and I was scared of Penny after that and I went out there and I found like a trail riding bit made by someone that I trusted and I bought this bit that was $300 to get shipped from the US and I used it once and hated it and then eventually when I started to work with Penny and bond with Penny, I realized that I gave up all my power and all my happiness because of one comment that was spoken out of turn. And even though she was so kind and loving and considerate and trying just to help me, it's never okay to express an opinion about somebody else that is reflected in what you think. Everybody is entitled to their own experience and it's a really hard concept to get, especially when you're just trying to help somebody and I've done it a million and ten times. Sam has done it. Oh my gosh, I can tell you all the time Sam's done it Never. to me. Never. And it's accidental. It's just not thought out well and it's a hard thing to over to control but every time you allow somebody's words to change your experience you have an altered experience you're not living your own genuine experience and when you're not living your own genuine experience you will never find happiness in that experience you will never it was only when I started to take a step back and build my own relationship with Penny, find my own way with Penny, and not listen to what other people said in a negative way that I was able to accomplish so much. Now Penny rides bitless. Penny rides bitless. And we do so much together. And most people like Lauren agree that Penny is the right horse for me. And I just can't get over it. Like, I just wanted you guys to know that because it's a really hard thing to move past someone's comments even when you know that they mean well it's so hard and I let it destroy so much of my faith in Penny but not anymore and I want you guys to be able to look at a negative comment even if it's meant well and be able to say no and reject it and build your own story because that's what we're meant to do that's all we're meant to do in this life is build your own story Looking cute, Gabby. Make your new boots. All right, so we're meeting friends at the barn today. 
we're here way earlier because Gabby's getting an opportunity to ride Grayfin. She's been missing him a lot. We're contemplating what we want to do about him. I think it's time to like just bite the biscuit and do it, you guys. I think we're gonna just look into what in, what leasing him involves. Spend the time, put it into him. My only concern is that we still have Chino and we need to still keep up with Chino because I believe in Chino. I do. But I also really like Finn. They're like, what's happening? Hi guys, we'll be back for you. <laughs> Chino's, they get jealous. Horses get jealous. They're confused. He's confused. Look at how huge you look. You're a big boy. It might seem shocking. It's shocking to me. But Sam has kind of taken over the whole grain situation. You guys know how I set up a grain station every year and that we do this and make grain buckets for our horses. Lately, Sam has been taking it upon himself to do the grain at the barn while I'm videoing the girls riding. So it's been fabulous for me. Also, today's ride is going to be like a rest for Finny. I don't know why, but Sylvie, both the girls, all the girls seem to really pull on him a lot, like shorten the reins really drastically when our trainer's not there. It happened last winter too. And I think it's because he goes so fast and they just feel worried they won't be able to slow him down. And I know that's not right. All a uh, lesson in progress, you guys. Uh, also, we're making a big change with Finn's bit because we switched his bit to the Miklum and I didn't know enough to really like look at it and figure it out and I just, we just switched it and it turns out that bit, that bridle I'm 100% sure is causing him discomfort and that's why he has increased the amount of times he flops his lips. Like he's obviously trying to tell me something. I do not know how to open this door. How the heck does the door open? So I have to look through the crack. Do you see them? Oh, I see them. They're way over behind the poop pile. I see them. Do you guys see them? I see them. Apparently the door locked from the outside. There he is. There he is. There's Gray Finn. Are you a dirty boy? <laughs> <laughs> You're so dirty. No, 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 no. I got slippery gloves on. The leader slides right through. No. <laughs> she has slippery gloves on, Finn. Don't do any shenanigans. Yeah, there's lots of ice out here. Look at, look at. That just makes me so sad. Aww. They want to be brothers. It's okay, your turn's coming. She's just gonna flat him. She's just gonna flat him and we'll be back for you. Go eat. It's okay. She's coming back for you. It's okay. It's okay, handsome. It's cold. It's so cold. Guess what's set up in the arena? What is set up in the arena? Let's see, it's like Christmas Day. No. Nothing. <laughs> Piles no. of snow. Look, there's a line of snow. Wow, that's cool. You can weave. That's what Gabby's gonna have to do. Yeah, weave, weave the snow. Oh, well, the snow is you cool. It stands right out. You gotta help me put set jumps up. Uh, when the other kids get here, you guys all set up jumps. So today is a relaxing ride for Finn. So I don't know if you'll be jumping. If you can, if you can master the looser rain, then you can jump. Now, first thing we do when we come to the barn is we set up the heat. <laughs> Watch the horse for a minute while Gabby goes. Ah, oh, <laughs> Finn, we missed you. Oh, you're so handsome. Yeah. So we took a break from Finn over Christmas, and Gabby was devastated. She just wants to ride him again. So Brandon said, "Why don't you just go flat him?" And we said, okay. <laughs> so I'm not sure exactly how the whole like lease thing works because it's been a long time since we leased a horse. Should I start getting so we're gonna see. Yeah, get all your stuff out. Get ready. 
be prepared. I should have my mask on. Be prepared, but there's no people in here yet. So be prepared and. We already broke the limit. There's 100,000 people in here. Yeah, like, so they have new limits on the barn. Our barn and Brandon are going above and beyond trying to keep, like, the COVID numbers at bay and doing their part in preventing, like, another shutdown. So they have all these new rules for uh, keeping everyone safe. So we're trying to keep up with that, keep up with all the changes and still enjoy our horses. It's the new day, you guys. This is the way that the world is going to be from now on. Like, it's just going to be, we're hypersensitive about illnesses now and Canada is so super strict and some other countries are so super strict and some other countries aren't super strict I want to move to those countries <laughs> just joking so I don't know how this happened but Gabby has started leaving her boots in the warm heated room in Brandon's office I don't know how it happened but it gives me like a warm feeling in my heart because for your child to trust and believe in their trainer so much that they feel close enough to them to leave their boots besides their boots makes my heart happy. I see like a connection between Brandon and Gabby that I feel like Gabby really needed. She believes in him and trusts him and, and I already see a huge growth in her because of him. So this is it. This is the bridle. This is his special bridle with like the one piece Hold pole up, and without the nose band. This is what we're trying today because I noticed a huge change in him when we did this before. And then we switched him to the Miklum bridle. And I always felt like the Miklum was a bit too small for him. It's a cob size. And yeah, this is a cob size. Yeah, but for some reason it felt kind of tight. And then the last time when we were here, and I was, I had to help Sophie put the bridle on him while she was on the horse. And when I was putting the bridle on, I was like, this seems odd. Like it connects under the face piece. Like the. Yeah, it's just like a flash. It co Yeah, and it connects like a flash. I don't know enough about it. It connects under here. I had no idea it connected under there. And even though Finn has done this in the past, I really feel like this new increased amount of that has to do with this. I feel like he's trying to get that that piece off of his face like it's really close to his his mouth and we're gonna try it and see it a lot to do with horses is just figuring things out and that's what we can do is just figure it out hi finny you want to join our family you know what, I just hey? realized. what did you realize um that the snow matches him <laughs> wow so you are a genius i know would he be a flea bitten gray because he has little tiny flex just a few no. So our chiropractor always does this and every horse I've ever done it to has always liked it. They just stand there and most of them just drop their head. Yeah, it feels so good, huh? See, and it makes your horse notice you. When you do stuff that is, makes your horse happy, it makes them notice you. Not that he's my horse, but, oh, he notices her, that's for sure. <laughs> You know her? Do you know her? Look at that jiggly neck. Man after my own heart. So the last time we were here, I had on this shapewear that Sam bought me for Christmas. I wanted it, I don't know why. And it was a disaster. But this time I'm wearing something else that Sam bought me for Christmas, something he chose all himself. They are these and they're called hugs. And you can see like they kind of bunch up. Inside these hugs, are thick, thick fur. Even when I wear snow pants, I still feel the cold on my legs. And when I wear regular leggings, I always feel the wind blow through them. With these hugs, I actually feel warm and cozy. In fact, I need hugs for the top part of me. No. What is happening? <laughs> Sophie! <laughs> what? <laughs> Pretty sure I can find her. She's holding on to my coat. <laughs> so I should take a second to tell you guys that I have been getting a lot of signs about Finn. Like I let Finn go out of my mind 
And that's what you're supposed to do when you ask God for, for signs. You're meant to just like let it go and let him tell you instead of like searching and looking and trying to influence the signs that God gives you. You're meant to let it go. And just at random places and, and random experiences over Christmas, I would just get this flash of Finn being with us. I, I've dreamed him again at our new farm with us and he's just this goofy, funny horse and... Whether he's the perfect horse for Gabby, whether he wants to do what she wants to do, I don't know where he plays in our story. All I do, all I know for sure is that I feel him, and I'm just sitting here, waiting for Gabby, who's still getting ready. I, I forgot to warm up a bit in an ice and I looked across the floor, and I don't think you guys will see it, but in this little image on the in the sun, you guys can't see it, right here. I see Finn. I actually see Finn. His face, his exact face, his ear, and his nose, and his eyeball, and it looks exactly like Finn. Oh, you guys can see it now. And then I see a little piece of white stuff, and it looks like a unicorn hanging over his head. And when I saw that image, do you guys see it? I see it. When I saw that image, I honestly and truly felt in my heart it was Finn and I believe that it's a sign that he's meant to be her unicorn and I don't know I know there are things I know you all have pointed out things of reasons why he's not the one and he's not the right one but in my life I believe in feelings and God and journeys and I feel like you never make a wrong mistake you just make choices that you learn from look I'll show you Okay, hold on. See, look. Look through the camera. See, look. There's his neck. An ear. Down. I don't see. Okay, look. His neck. Look in the camera. His ear. Then his nose. And then his eye. Right there. That's where he looks like gray fin. Right there. See that little black spot? His eye. And then that white thing, a unicorn. Wow. There we go. Finally. are up and at it and that is her unicorn look at him he looks like a unicorn such a handsome man That's a wrap. Hold on. Don't get too close. I know you're jealous of him. All right, so I don't know how this video is gonna turn out. This, this ride was a lot of just moms talking, <laughs> missing all the riding, horses all acting weird, like the riders couldn't get it together. Horses couldn't get it together. It's cold, it's icy. It was just a mishmash of craziness, guys. <laughs> I apologize. Today was a vacation. Today was like a happy friends together ride instead of a filming day, I feel like. But we'll see. We'll see what happens with the video. It was, it was a lot. All right, Finn and Finn. I see it already happening, Chino. I see it. I see it happening, handsome man. But don't you worry. I will always fight for you. Don't you know that you're beautiful?